Hello everybody, Triple here, and welcome back to another part of the NNDL. Um, we're we're one on one uh, since last time, and to be fair, we're doing better than I expected. Um, I the thing is, this is majors. All of the players are way better, so I was expecting to struggle more, and I'm really happy that we're not. And I'm bringing some like low IQ plays here that are actually big IQ to this next opponent. We're facing off against Tessie, who has a very scary team with both Terra Chen Pao and Terra Skeledurch. He has Iron Threads, Slow King, Gardevoir, Salamence, Iron Hands, Arbaliva, Grafia, Dreadnought, and one Pokemon he actually can't bring. Frostbolt. <laughs> That's a... Yeah, okay. He, we figured out that he has Frostmoth. He, he drafted it after I drafted Frostmoth. So he's not allowed to bring it here. And... Um, yeah, he, he, I think he traded it for Bear Tech. I don't, I don't exactly follow, but... Um, yeah, that's a pretty interesting uh, change there. Um, but yeah, for now, this matchup. Very interesting. Uh, Champao, of course, a massive threat. Skeledurge with Terra is very hard to deal with. Um, Sloking is bulky. Salamence is a threat with Intimidate. Uh, but I think I'm well equipped for most things here, actually. I have the premiere of this Pokemon, Bombardier. I haven't used it in any game before this, and I think this is the one where it can put in a lot of work. With the Choice Scarf, it's faster than Chen Pao, it's faster than Iron Threads, it's faster than basically everything on his, his, on his team. Um, maybe Scarf Elements cannot speed it, but I have the Rocky Payload Stone Edge, which Elements doesn't like taking. Neither does Skeledarch or Chen Pao or... Basically anything on this team that's not Iron Threads or Arbaliva. Uh, the Stone Edge is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, I have Dual Wing Beat, which is very good against the Iron Hands, potentially, and the Arbaliva itself. I have Drill Run, which hits the Iron Hands, the Iron Threads, and the Grafii. And also the Skeledurge too. Uh, the only thing is I couldn't fit Dark Coverage on this set because I really wanted Parting Shots. Because of the speed, I um, I really like having that fast Parting Shots in case I get in on a wrong Pokemon. I can just be like, actually, I'm repositioning to either Earthworm or Arcanine. So, yeah, that's pretty good for me. I have the second Scarf, Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant is very good here with the speed, but the problem is that if I use the booster energy, I'll lose it on switch out, which a Skeledurge would force me to switch out. So I have Sh Scarf here with Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, Aura Sphere, and Focus Blast. I have both Aura Sphere and Focus Blast because I don't want to rely on hitting Focus Blast. So, uh, our Sphere would do good damage against the Iron Threads and the Arbaliva. Um, and the Dreadnought, actually. And Chen Pao. Moonblast is just very good in general, only not hitting the Iron Threads and the Skeledurge. Um, technically, not hitting the uh, Grafia, but Grafia is made of glass and it will shatter. <laughs> and uh, Shadow Ball is very good specifically for Skeledurge. Skeledurge is unlikely switching on this. Uh, same with Sloking, actually. Sloking doesn't take Shadow Ball too well either. Um, and yeah, this is just, it's gonna do hopefully a lot of chip and open up the way. These two are here to open up the way, basically. Um, just do as much damage as you can. He doesn't have a lot of recovery. He has the regen on Sloking and a boost on Salamence. But that's about all he has for recovery. Um,. So that makes it very interesting to go like hyper offensive here. I have the Earthworm with the Chompleberry. I'm uh, the thing here is um, Skeledurge kind of struggles with Arcanine uh, for the same reason that Serilage struggles with Arcanine. Actually, 
um, in Flash Fryer plus Terra. Um, of course, I didn't go for Terra Normal here because, yeah, I didn't want to full counter that, and Terra Fairy is just too good here. But Scattered kind of struggles, which means uh, Earthworm will likely get in Iron Hands or uh, Champao or something like that. Uh, even if it gets in Skeledarch, a Shed Tail would mean I get a switch into Velusa, which has the um, Filet away. And I could do a lot of damage with that. The only real switch into that is Sloking, uh, because I have the um, courage to hit things. But Earthworm is here mainly to Shed Tail, even if I am in on the Iron Hands or on the Chen Pao, because I have that Chobble Berry. And with that massive defense step, that Chopple Berry saves my life, meaning I can get a guaranteed Shed Tail. Or even on Chen Pao, I can body press it to kill. So, potentially really good. The only problem would be Skeledurge or a Salamence on the same turn, because both have fire coverage, which I kind of fear. Uh, Salamence in particular, because if he doesn't go for fire coverage, only switch to Arcanine. And he goes for a read instead. I'm in a lot of trouble. But with the Chopple Berry, I can eat that, shut till up, uh, Earthquake on the Skeledurge, uh, and then even have a Heavy Slam just for the Gardevoir, honestly. Um, plus it it hits um, Ratnaw kind of decently. A Heavy Slam is just kind of decent. Felusa, like I said, is here to sweep. Um, if I can position it right, it has the fillet away with the focus sash. It can aqua cutter for big damage on basically everything that's not called sloking. Uh, Ice Fang hits the uh, Arbaliva and then Psycho Kit hits everything else. Um, very hard to deal with. The only thing is Sucker Punch, of course. But if I'm behind that sub, even if they break the sub, I have the focus sash. So I can eat that and aqua cutter it to likely kill. Uh, and yeah, this is just another, like, it's gonna do big damage, uh, if it gets in the right position. Um, if I can get that chat still off, that's practically GG. It, it becomes very hard for him to win, um, at least on paper. So, hopefully I can get that into position. Psycho Cut does a lot to, it doesn't kill Iron Hands, surprisingly enough, but it does a lot. I have the Arcanine with Terra Fairy because Fairy, his team is so weak to Fairy. He has two switches and that's it. So I have the Terra Fairy here um, and I have Play Rough on this. Intimidate is just very good because Chen Pao, Chen Pao Iron Hands, uh, Salamence, Iron Threads, uh, it, it's very useful here. And then I have the Terra Fairy play rough to hit a lot of things. Uh, Salamence is a pretty likely switching on this. Uh, I was thinking Terra Ice at first, but I want to be able to answer to uh, Skeledurge. Actually, that could be a really cool um, idea. Terra Ice with Flash Fire. That, that might be a video idea or a team idea for that idea later. Hold up. <laughs> Okay, anyway, Play Rough, very good. Wisp is nice because I am max speed on this, which means I outspeed um, the Iron Hands and the Dreadnought, which if I Wisp one of them, that instantly uh, hinders his team a whole bunch. Uh, if I can get a read into the Iron Threads or the Salamence, that's also a very good Wisp. I have the Morning Sun, which is just good for recovery. This With the Intimidate, this is still... Really good as a defensive switch in. And then I have Crunch to hit Sloking and Skeledurge. Um, but the whole idea is I'm a fire type, I'm a fire type. Surprise, you tried to throw chop me with Chen Pao and now I'm a fairy type. Something like that. Um, just very good. And here is the big one. The really big one. There's a third scarf. I don't know why, but I I just saw his team and I was like, you know, speed. Uh, yeah. Garchomp is here with another Scarf with Earthquake, Outrage, 
poison jab, which hits the um, the Gardevoir well, uh, head, hits Terra Skeledurge very, really well, and hits the Arboliva. Um, and the whole idea is um, either this or um, Iron Valiant gets to sweep in the end uh, by just clicking the same move over and over. Uh, the whole idea is just I do a lot of damage and then I get into position to sweep. I do outspeed Chin Pao, so he, he can still ice shard me, but that's a risk because what if I switch and then, then I'm in a favorable position, etc. etc. So Scarf Guard Jump, very good. Um, I do have Flee, just in case. If I get in a position where, for instance, his Salamence isn't Scarf and his Chen Pao is dead, uh, and his Iron Threads might be still faster, but I don't know. Um, if I get in a position where I know I'm the fastest, I can fling, get rid of my choice scarf, and then choose which moves I want to go for, which is pretty good against the theme. Um, the only reason I'm not doing that is like Scarf Gardevoir, for instance, could uh, throw some uh, problems into the into the spanners. So that's it, it's gonna be interesting because three scarfs. The, the big thing I'm playing off here is who in their right mind would be stupid enough to bring three scarves? Nobody's gonna expect that. So, <laughs> I, I'm gonna play, I'm not even gonna try to really hide them. I'm, I, what I really want to happen is, if, if he sees one scarf, if he like identifies that one Pokemon that's normally slower is faster, then he wouldn't as much expect the other scarves. So, that's kind of the play here just make him think this is my scarfer or this is my scarfer and then keep the other ones in the back and like throw them off with that it's it's gonna be very interesting of a match oh a small little detail um i gave artworm enough speed to outspeed um no speed investment skeledurch um so that i can get a shed tail off on it Go for Lusa and uh, get hit with the Torch Song, yes, because it's a it's a sound based move. But then be in a really good position where I force him out and I get to play away. So that's also potentially a situation that could happen. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a cool match. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this, and yeah, hopefully the team can put in some work. Okay, okay, there we are. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, he did bring the herbal life, surprisingly enough. Um, I don't see. He did, I was fearing the Salamence. Uh, the I think Bombardier is a pretty good lead either way, because anything I don't like, I can party so loud on. Plus, it leads fairly well against uh, Skeledurge and uh, Arboliva and. I think even Sloking. Um, Palooza is gonna be kinda good. I do have to watch out for Sloking, though. Sloking can probably eat a hit from it. Chen uh, Pao can Ice Shard me, but I think I can Parting Shot out on it. This is fine, actually. Um, I think Dorulun does a decent chunk to you, and you're probably just gonna get a Rocks here. 37, okay, he knocks off my uh, my uh, scarf. Actually, wait, hold up. I think, I, if I can just 1v1 one one this, this is like a 3 hit knockout, right? Yeah, okay, I got a crit, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me just get rid of this, honestly. Oh, he does, okay, that, yeah, good call. Um... I think Gurjump is just straight up the best play. He doesn't really have an earthquake switch in. Uh, his best earthquake switch in is the Arboliva. Uh, Arboliva can actually take it decently well, but this this will definitely die, and anything else will take a chunk. Yeah, okay, he just gives me this. That's fair. I don't have rocks on my team, so he probably rapid spun there or something, or I spinner. Because he is faster. 
But yeah, this is putting me in a pretty good position. Arbaliva does come in. Uh, I think that's just Arcanine for me. Uh, Orthlon could be good because Chateau, but... Holy shit, what? <laughs> Relax. Um, I mean, I might as well... Do I want the chip here or do I want to just... Okay, he does switch. He does switch. I can crunch this probably. If I throw out here, I don't. I'm not doing two power anymore, so I can crunch this. The flavor of looks pretty good. Thirty-three. Okay, that's not a lot, but I can easily eat the serves and uh, sell them out. So honestly, puts me in a pretty good position. Um, another morning sun, yeah. Chili reception into the iron. Oh, I will gladly wisp this. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Chili reception, iron hands, probably ice punch. Player of does a decent chunk. Ooh, that is scary. Um, but we trade. Okay, we trade, which is good. He had facade, which is smart. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Orthworm. It deals with everything that's not a Skeledurge, and I don't think he would go Skeledurge because Garchomp is pretty free here right now. Mm. If he goes Jump Out, hmm. he does. Bodyfrost can take this out, and he, uh, he probably won't expect the Chopple. Ah, oh, he tears into fighting. Um, if I shed tilt there, I would have. Um, I'm gonna try it now. He's probably just gonna. Yeah, I could have gotten a thing off into Felusa and probably swapped him. So that's a shame. Okay, no, relax, buddy. We press just this more, right? Okay, yeah. But here's the fun part. Okay, whoever would bring three scars, right? Come on. All right. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he did. He didn't expect the triple scarf. It's actually been paying off pretty well. Our Beliva does come in here. Uh. I think I should just... Like, Veluza is pretty not important right now. Uh, I can just get an Ice Fang off there. Uh, and I'm probably a Poison Jab. Poison Jab does pretty well. If I get a Poison on the Skeletor, Arch, so that makes it way easier. Um, so that puts me in a pretty good position here. Uh, go Iron Valiant. I think it's going to come to an end game of Garchomp. But I need to see how exactly. Shadow Ball is definitely gonna break the sub and gonna get some good chip off here. Um, I really hope he Terra's here and reveals his Terra. That way I can uh, I can predict, I can play with the Garchomp. Because that's what it's all gonna come down to here. Um, Actually, maybe his Sloking has Ice Beam, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get Chip off here. If he's Terra Fairy, that means I can Poison Jab um, and possibly Poison the Sloking after. Uh, if he's, I, the thing is, I don't want to Earthquake into Terra Flying. Because that's some, okay, that's some shit I would do, just Terra Flying to be immune to Earthquake. But mm, this is, it's gonna be a very like iffy end game. Either way, Shadow Ball is good here right now. It, it's just free chip, and then I can adjust from there. It's taking a long time to think about this stuff. 
that kind of scares me. I'm locked in at this point. I I literally can't do anything better than just click Shadow Ball here. Hmm. Okay, okay. He does stay in. He takes a chunk from that. But now it all comes down to that Terra. He didn't reveal it. Um... I don't want to Outrage into Terra Fairy, which would be the best damage overall. I don't want to Earthquake into Terra Flying, which would be insane, but also... Mm. I don't think Poison Jab kills if he doesn't Terra, though. That's the big deal. Maybe I can... I don't... Mm. Okay. Um, he didn't Terra. I'm just gonna Earthquake here, and now I Outrage. I think. Yeah. Okay. He didn't. I think he's fist death. Mm. Well, that I'm. I'm glad it got this close. At least I'm trying to see. Since he didn't Terra, maybe if I Earthquaked, I would have just one v one the Slow King. I don't know. It's definitely like, it, it was a very interesting match, and yeah, I th that's the thing. I got too scared of the Terra. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Terra scarf really worked well, which uh, I'm really happy with. Yeah, no way he's gonna bring a third one. Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really happy that that worked out like that. Because, yeah. Okay. Uh... But yeah, um, I think maybe I could have won that if I just didn't predict the Terra. Uh, but yeah, that that's just a choke on my end. Um, I'm I th I'm pretty happy with this, honestly. Um, and I guess with that, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.